Hello all, this is a test of the screen capture video. I'm going to be doing, I'm trying to do a tutorial on how to create a firmware update for your Gen 6 electronics. Uh, if you use Gen 6, you have got them from Mendel Parts or from someone that did. This is the Mendel Parts website. The page you need to see is this, Gen 6 info. It's also down here. That's how you navigate it to it. Instructions are all here, uh, although it did confuse me at first. It does take a little bit of time to learn how to use. First step is make sure everything's unplugged. Unplug everything, turn off your bot. Uh, you can have USB plugged in as long as your bot's turned off. Uh, it says first step says grab Arduino and install said Arduino, or grab my version that's already combined with zip. You can click on that <clears throat> and uh, download that anywhere, and then unzip it. It doesn't matter where you unzip it to, just unzip it. It is quite large, so it takes a little bit of time. So I already have that downloaded. Uh, and then it says, uh, let's see, where are we? Grab Arduino and install Sanguino, or grab my version. OK, you already got that. Head back. It says, unzip the firmware from the downloads page. Uh, the firmware they're referring to here is not the same as this. It is at Mendel Parts, and the firmware is right here. The newest one should be on the bottom, and that one did not work for me because I installed it as is, stock straight from this file, and it did not work. It's locked up all my accesses. I had to go back one, so if you have problems with the first one, uh, go back and do the next one down. But usually you want the newest update. So go back down one if it has a problem, and keep going down until you finally reach the one you need. Uh, I'm not sure that's the one you need at all. I think this is the very first batch. So. I've already downloaded all these files, but let me show you how to do it. Let's download. Now download this to wherever you want to download it to. And this is the one you need to unzip into a file called 5D G Code Interpreter. Just like that. Let me show you those files I have. Let's find my rip wrap folder. And I created a folder called 5D G Code Interpreter. And I have two different you can see I have the two different firmwares. This one is the uh, newer one, and this one's the older one, as you can see right down here. And it says, let's see, this is 2011, January 7th. This is 2011, Jan 2011, January 7th as well. But that one was the very next one. Down, so I guess they created two that day. Okay, so you should have everything saved in there, and this is automatically built in. This is what you should be seeing. Don't worry about clicking on any of these right now. Alright, so let's go back to RepRap. And I included Arduino in here. When you download Arduino and unzip it, this is what you see after it's unzipped. And all you need to do is click on Arduino EXE. It opens. Though I didn't bother to update, I didn't want to change anything. And you select the up arrow. I just wanted to cover one step I did this right now. I'm going to insert it right where you need to find it. As soon as you open Arduino, you want to make sure your board is selected as Sanguino board and your serial port is selected as COM8. If you don't have a COM port, it's a USB port, uh, it's because you're not plugged in or you're not powered on with your board. So, before you do anything, board, select Sanguino, serial port COM8, and then continue on from here. And you select the up arrow, which means open. I'm going to open. And let me back up so you can see exactly where, where I'm going with this. You want to go to 5G Code Interpreter. Select on your firmware package. Go in deeper to the next folder. And then you can click any one of these. I haven't had a problem with any one clicking on them. But I just click on this one because it's the main code. The screen should pop up. You pop that open and you can see all your tabs. The only tab I had to change was configuration, H. And what I'm doing is scrolling down. If you don't know anything about Arduino, like I don't, um, don't worry about any of this. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly the things you need to change. This part confused me a lot because I found the E steps per millimeter. Let me go down. It's define X steps per millimeter. This is where I had the problem because there are slotted pulleys listed here, if slotted pulley, pulleys, and then you have grub pulleys, and then it goes down into different types of motherboards, the same 
info. So what I just just I worked in IRC and I deducted that only you need to change is the uh, where is it the grub pulleys. I believe it's only the grub pulleys because this is my major value. That's the value I changed it to. So you go into the the pressure soft um, calculator for the steps per millimeter. Use precision tool or however you want to calculate your steps. Once you have your value, you just cut, paste it right into there. All three of these should be, well these two should be close. You know, it's a little slightly off for me. And uh, this one should be about the same because it doesn't have to do with any pulleys. It's just Z steps. And then uh, you sit, go to, let's see, verify and complete. You compile it. Notice down here it says compile. Should come back with no problems. This is the exact same software I have online or firmware. It comes back with a size and it's good. And then you just upload to the board. I don't have my set connected right now, but you click upload. It'll say I/O uploading. And make sure your software is closed for like SkinForge or anything like that might be used in software. Shut those things down first, and then upload it to the board. And when it says it's done. You're done. If it doesn't say you're done and says there's an error, just shut everything down, keep this window open, and upload it again. I had that problem and it said could not upload. So I reset the board, turned it off, plugged it back in, started it back up, and I re uploaded it and it worked fine. So these three under Grub Pulleys are the only ones you need to change for a Gen 6 board. I don't even know why it has a slot of pulleys. It's kind of silly. So that's it. This is the test video. If it's uh, any good, I'll upload it and hopefully this will help someone.